Today, guys, we're going to make pide. Pide is one of our favorites. It's like lahmacun. It's what Turkish people eat. Very similar to pizza, but much simpler. And the beauty lies in its simplicity. I'm going to teach you the basics of making pide. Then I'm going to take each and everyone's order and make their versions. So you're going to have different interpretations of pide by the pide lovers around. Guys, and I want to tell you, actually we were planning to have the pide for last week and we shot it, but unfortunately something happened to the camera and we lost half the shots. Now, wish us good luck. Hope on the way nothing goes wrong. Everything starts with the pide dough. So for the pide dough, I have half a kilogram of white flour, rich in gluten. To this flour, I'm going to add a bit of salt, teaspoon. Then I make a hole in the middle. I have this lukewarm water and I'm going to put this in the middle. Lukewarm is around 39 to 40 degrees. I'm going to put the yeast. Together with it, I'm going to add a bit of sugar. It's a ready food that's for her to grow faster. I'm gonna also add a tablespoon of butter. It's been out there for like 30 minutes, but if it was for an hour, it would be better. But I'm going to rub it with my hands so that the taste increases slightly. First, I'm mixing the flour with the water so that my hands don't get stuck. The dough almost mixed with the water, but I have to knead it for my hands not to get stuck. I dust them with the flour and then start kneading. And kneading the dough is mostly in many parts of the world, it's slightly similar, is like folding and pressing and folding and pressing. This way, several things happen. First, of course, you mix the ingredients. Second, with the pressure that we use, we start to wake up the gluten and also we wake up the yeast and with the warmth of our hands, it's something different. It's human touch to the yeast. Everything goes well. As you knead, you collect the small dusts like this, continue until they're all gone, and then you clean around by kneading, simply like in one and a half minutes, everything around the bowl will be clear. And that's what we want. Now, as you can see, the inside is quite clean, but as you can see, the dough is not smooth yet. So this means she's not ready yet. What I'm going to do, is continue kneading this time with my two hands so what i do i use the palm and roll press and roll press and roll now as you can see my dough is more smooth now it's time to cut them in small bezes bezes are like small bowls so that it will be easier for me just to pick one and then open my pide from this, I'm going to make seven pides. Some people make it thicker, but I love thin pides so that I can eat several. I'm gonna try to cut it in equal things, but of course I'm not going to be able to. But what it is, is for example, there are small chunks and big chunks. These are the small ones. This is like in the middle. What I do, I take a piece from the bigger one and add it to the smaller one. It doesn't have to be precise doesn't have to be, but if you're having a hard time like I do always, this is a technique that I have found useful. When I want to roll, what I do is I first press it with the middle of my palm. Then I slowly decrease the pressure of my palm and then the thumb gets into the picture, shaping the edges like this. And then all the other fingers too, like this. Almost the top of the dough is not touching my palm. So then it becomes this circle like that. Hello, kitty. Meow, meow. Now, the bezes are going to go to rest. So I dust my tray and then put all of them like this. And also put a bit of flour on top so that it doesn't stick. And I have this clean damp coat, put it like this and let these babies rest, not on top of a marble counter, because it's cold and they're gonna get cold, like sitting on a stone. Here is the warmest place and with no wind, so half an hour they're going to rest. I'll clean around, put my ingredients, and we're going to be ready to make the pide. And I also turn on the oven to the highest, top and bottom, and no fans, and we're all set.
This is weighted and they are ready. First, I dust my countertop. Put my bezel. Dust the top of the bezel again. And then. Your rolling pin. Thank you, sir. And for the rolling pin not to stick, I'm going to dust it very well. Now we're ready. Normally, to make it round, we just do this and then twist it into 90 degrees. But now, for the pide, I want one long straight pide. So, what I do, I just turn it and then continue rolling it. Shall we give our orders in? You are the hungriest, I guess, huh? Yes. When did you eat? 21 hours ago. Really? <laughs> Is this the bikini diet? <laughs> now, what I'm going to do, I have this one long baker's peel, kurinci küre in Turkish, but if you don't have such a thing, this is a piece of glass and you cover it with foil and you can use this as a peel. Now, I take the excess flour away and I can start. Here I have kaşar cheese. Kaşar is a great melting cheese, which is a classic. Kaşarlı pide is one of the most classic ones. And I am quite generously putting it actually. In your country, whatever you have, mozzarella, not so mature cheddar would do. You can use any kind of cheese that can easily melt. Then I close the edges like this. Years and years ago, I worked in a pide place for two days to make good pide. The usta was afraid. Why are you so interested in this? I have never seen someone like this. You're talented. Are you going to have a pita place? And he was like curious that I would yeah. have a pita place. He was a great guy. Anyways, I dust the edges like this. It can get into the oven, but I want to have some decorations and pepper is really good for that. Could be hot pepper as well. And then I have small tomatoes like this. Now it's going to get into the oven. My oven is 280 degrees Celsius. It's a very standard one. I can always cook it in the middle, but Good pide should be really, really crunchy at the bottom and soft on top. And to create that, I'm going to throw it to the bottom of the oven like this. You pull it fast. And she's going to stay there for about four or five minutes until the bottom cooks. Then I'm going to remove it to the top shelf. Meanwhile, I'm going to make the second one. And like this is going to be a cycle. So I increase the space in the oven much more. So now I'm ready to take the orders. Probably because you're hungry for 21 hours, mm -hmm. I take your order. Um, cheese and eggs. Can I add peppers? Peppers would do. No oh. tomatoes. No tomatoes. Okay, deal. First order is taken. Oh. Now, to make this, by the way, for the egg, I need to make a rounder pide. The shape is going to be more like this than more like thin and long. It's gonna be like an eye. Yes, Dover's eye. There was this film I liked, Sherry by Michelle Pfeiffer. She falls in love with this young boy. She thinks that the boy's eyes look like a Dover's eyes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put some kashar. I'm going to add the peppers and the eggs later on because I want your peppers to be small like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the eggs and the peppers when she's gonna go up. We check the bottom, quite done. I'm going to put it up like this. Now I'm ready to take everyone's orders. I want it to with kuşbaşılı and maybe with some kaşar and which is like diced meat, tomato, pepper and spice. Okay. You want and it hot or not hot? Slightly hot. Slightly hot, okay. I want to have cheese, pastrami and sucuk. And you want everything? Yes. Okay. And parsley on top. He's from a region where their pide is famous, huh? Yes. What do you want? Pastrami and sucuk. Okay, deal. Orders are fine, orders are easy. What do you want, Rifka? White cheese mm. instead of kashar, which is known as feta in the world. Some smoked meat and several greens. Mm. And half of it I'm going to make without a meat. So in Turkey, sometimes you can like have kuşbaşılı and pastırmalı, two different pides together. So that's another way that you can prepare your pides. Okay. Half something, half something else, yes. As you can see, after four and a half minutes, the bottom is cooked really nice. Now on top for you, Bahar, I'm going to add some peppers like this. And red pepper. 
and one egg to the middle and she goes back now this time to the top shelf black pepper salt Now I am buttering the sides of your pide. This will go back to the oven for another 30 seconds and she will be ready. Pide people! Oh, kısmeti taşmış. This is like I got carried on with the cheese. It kind of ran on the side, so be careful guys. Lastly, some parsley on top. With pide, you can drink ayran, which is in India, laski. It's yogurt, salt, and some water. You can do this with uh, sparkling water or normal water. And this is shalgam, which is black carrots fermented. If you want the recipe, I can make this for you guys. It's amazing. Or Turkish tea. All goes well with the pide. <sighs> And last but not least, here it comes. When we are eating, how we cut it? Now, Burak Harpak is going to show us. <laughs> First, we have a sharp knife and with just a little curve, it's gonna help us because we are gonna cut and slice like this. First, I put the knife and then make a cut like this. Fast one. Yes, uh, fast one and like pressing on top and I have my slice. Then, chop. Like this. That's how I get the corner. <laughs> of course not. This is yours, sir. <laughs> no, we can share. Did, did you see what he did? Because we all like eat each other's food. He just grabbed the second end and ate it so that no one would eat it. <laughs> and now I start with the simple one. Beauty lies sometimes in simplicities, and this is it. By the way, if you want to have like from these baker peels, this is Burak's, you can go and look at Etsy guys. We sell all these like the tea glass, knives, all these things are there. Now, Bahar. Eat it and sleep for the rest of the day. Beautiful. Huh? Oh. Mm. Mm. Guys, thank you for watching this video until now. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We're really thinking whole week for what to make for you guys. So if you support us, that would be wonderful. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe in the world. It's hard to find us. If you like this video, if you like Lahmacun, we have Lahmacun video as well. You can go to Lahmacun from here. Or if you want to make donar, you can make donar from here. Bye.